That's what I figured would happen. Okay, and then I should be able to designate remove construction the bottom stairs from here. And once they do, I will remove the top stairs. Or... Oh, there's still a ramp there. Okay, hold on. Designate and remove construction. And then I guess I'm going to have to build the up downstairs next to it here. Something. I don't know. This is weird. Big pain in the ass. I could just leave one ramp. Yeah. And build construction X. That's what I'll do for the others. I'll just leave one ramp. It's not critical that I get rid of all of them, as long as they can't reach the wall. So, we'll do this. And just leave the one. So it does mean that monsters that get stuck in there will be able to get out. But I'm actually, it's not, nothing's going to fall in there anyway. So it doesn't matter. Okay. To get my guy out? Good. And now... Can we remove this... Con Actually, what the hell? Same thing. I'll just leave the construction. It doesn't make a difference. Good. All right. I'm satisfied with that. All right. Now what? Oh, you know what we can do is we can start building our defensive walls around our stairs. And so how am I going to place them? I can leave two by two areas. Something like... Oops, did that wrong. Well, and then... It'll look a little screwy, but I think that's okay. You guys will see what I'm what I'm doing in a second here. Uh, let's keep building out a chart so that everything looks the same. Yeah, we'll build it like this. It'll restrict movement ever so slightly, but I don't think enough that'll be an issue for my dwarves. It does look absolutely retarded though, but ah uh, well. And shirt. Okay. Did my hunting dog get finished training? No, not yet. Uh, build, um, what's it called? The restraint, V. So we're going to place a chain, or actually a rope, right there. And we'll build another one right here. And then when that's get built, we'll assign a war dog to each one of those. And, oh, actually, I need to build more wall here. Um, build, construct, wall. Just like this, and chert. So the deal is, um, this way, there is no, by having, let me bring up the other cursor, by tying up a dog here, now a dog can roam in one square way in any direction. So he could roam, you know, in any one, oops, in any one of these squares here. But by having these walls blocked off here, it means the dog can only be either in this area here. So either this row or this row. And it means there's no way for something to walk through this hallway without coming adjacent to the war dog at one point, which means the war dog will detect all stealth creatures. And that is your way of catching those guys and making sure that they can't come in and snatch your babies and uh, steal your stuff. <laughs> you know what I'll do is designate a drinking area because every now and again when dwarves get thirsty and we, let's say we ran out of booze and that's not going to be a problem because I'm never going to run out of booze um, but oops there we go it's a water source eh? yeah 
Good. Uh, anytime they run out of booze, they will come and drink water. And sometimes they won't pick the closest source. They'll like go far away on the map to, to grab their water for some reason. So this way, it guarantees that they don't go too far away. They stay within my little enclosed area. Um, the other thing, too, this will come up for the hospital whenever we get this properly built. Um, what is the container? H. Hopefully I've got some of those coffers done. Yeah, good. There's a coffer. And another one. And another one. Oh, we got lots of marble coffers. Good. So, set up lots of storage in here. And, yeah, because if anyone gets injured and they're in the hospital, then the dwarves will come just up two levels to grab the water. And that'll be good. So, I could expand my channel to be a moat that goes all the way around my base, but I don't think there's any need for that. I mean, I suppose at some point people might come with stuff that can smash my walls, but that won't be for a while, and some of it might be like ballistas or something, which means they can do it from a range. I really don't know. These guys are still filling that up with water. Good. Work harder. Fill faster. They're doing a pretty good job. guys done. I did do some trading during one of the pauses. Um, got lots and lots of exotic metals and other goodies. Um, well, I guess it wouldn't be here, but I should get them back to smelting coal, lignite, coal, and lignite. I actually ran out of fuel at some point, so. But I dug a whole bunch more up. Um... Metalsmith's Forge. So if I were to build, I don't know, weapons, I've got iron, silver, copper, bronze, steel, business, and adamant. No, I don't have that. Surely it's just giving me all options. I thought it would limit it to just what I had, though. That kind of sucks. I do have some electrum and all kinds. Of, I guess I could find it from my stocks here. Got to find bars right here. I got lots of iron, a little copper, some brass, lots of steel, lots of pig iron, one electrum, and a little charcoal left over. So I do have lots of steel, which means I can definitely start producing steel goods. Steel swords and whatnot. Um, oh, steel oh, axes, because, yes. Oh, giant steel. Hmm. Well, form ax forge axes. We'll do, uh, we'll make ten of them which is what you need for a squad. And we'll also build uh, wooden crossbows. We'll build ten of those. And that way we can equip the squad with any weapon we want. I believe we will set the initial squad to be ranged. I don't know. I guess I have a squad, but I haven't actually paid attention to their equipment. Um, how do we... How do we do that? Oh, E, equip. So they're set to use metal armor and melee weapons uh, as a whole, but I can mix it up. For example, my rangers here, I should actually... Um, how do I do this? How do I do this? Weapon. Individual choice ranged. Oh, how do I get rid of the melee one? Enter. There we go. So now the ranger will no longer carry a melee weapon. She'll just prefer a ranged weapon, which makes a hell of a lot of sense. I'll do the same thing over here. Uh, delete that. And uh, add a your choice of ranged. Right now, everyone else is melee, which is fine. I wonder if my rangers, I should remove the metal armor and just tell them to use uh, leather. I don't think it matters. The only reason I would want leather is because I have excess leather kicking around and no one who's actually wearing it. But this is an interesting squad. Most of them are melee, a little bit of range support. Um, but I might want to uh, I might want to build a squad that is pure uh, ranged and, you know, set them to patrol certain areas and a different one to be pure melee. I don't know if there's any situation where pure melee is better. I think maybe heavily ranged and then backed by some melee people. Um, makes a lot of sense. Maybe that's what I should do. I 
happen. No. Oh, we're gonna have lots of battle axes anyway. Battle axes and crossbows, no shortage. Uh, do I have? Uh, no, not here. Stocks. How am I on logs? Not a whole lot. Okay, so let's get chopping. Lots of wood. That'll keep my haulers busy again. Just as they were cut up. Poor guys. But we need wood. Oh, almost done the f pond thing. I suppose I could have just focused on just one pond. Okay, my ropes are down, so we're going to assign an animal, a war dog, to that rope. And we're going to assign another war dog over here. So someone will come over, bring those, equip them there, and then we will be defended from those rogues. And... Oh, a caravan has arrived. There they come. Good. Excellent news. Alright, so let's set up some goods here. Um, we should have lots of crafts. Crafts. So we should still have a guy going at it full time. Last time we were here, we sold like 15,000 gold worth of crafts because we had tons saved up. A lot of it was encrusted. I don't think there'll be that much encrusted this time. I could just sell some gems for money. You get more, I think, if we encrust something rather than just uh, sell it as is. So perhaps that's what I'll do. There's nothing I need critically, although I could just buy a whole lot of weapons and armor, which wouldn't be terrible. I'm doing a good job building um, building weapons at this point, so I guess I'll focus on buying armor. Uh, craft dwarf workshop. Do I have any extras kicking around? Where would that be? Where would I have built them? Carpenters? Crafts dwarfs, yeah. So, make some more rock crafts everywhere. I don't know how many guys I have that can be doing this, but basically every single craft dwarf workshop should be making rock crafts non-stop. Keep them nice and busy. I gotta go move in the bins. We only got like four bins of stuff to move up there, so that won't take long, although I do have to request that my trader, Jay Jones, who's currently drinking, to come over and do that. How about this thing? Hmm, still inactive. Yeah, my masons are way too busy. I need more migrants. One thing I really like the balance of this game is there's always, like, you always have a need for something. No matter where you are, you've either, you're either, like, starting out, in which case your need is to, like, build stuff. At a certain point, you've got the stuff built, and you just need more people, and then once you've got the people, then you're going back to building things and back and forth. And then you need excess people so that you can have a standing military... And every time you add people, then you need more stuff to keep them busy with. Oh, just need a tiny bit more water in the bottom one. 